average score of a cricketer in 13 matches is 42 runs. If the average score in the first 5 matches be 54 runs, what is the average score in the last 8 matches? Again, a simple question from averages, but we make it complicated by following traditional methods, right? Let's let's understand the question. So, average score in 13 matches, right? 13 innings is 42. The average score of the first five is 54. What is the average score in the last eight matches? How do we do this? See, average cannot be balanced. We cannot say that the average of first five plus the average of last eight should be equal to average of 13. Average, you know, may not be balanced. What will be balanced? The total will be balanced. Average is equal to sum of all the values by number of values. So that sum will be balanced. Sum of the first five matches plus sum of the next eight matches will be equal to sum of 13 matches. So sum of first five matches plus sum of the last eight matches will be equal to sum of 13 matches. That's the proper equation. What is the sum of first five matches? I know that the average score of first five is 54. Average is 54. Sum will be equal to what? 54 into 5. Yes or no? Average is equal to sum by the number of values there. So how do you get the sum? Sum can be taken as average into the number of values. So average is 54 into 5. Number of values 5 because first 5 matches. So sum of the first 5 matches is 54 into 5 plus sum of the 8 matches we need to calculate equals to sum of the 13 matches. The average of all the 13 matches is 42. So this can be taken as 42 into 13. Simplify 54 into 5, 270 half into 10, right? 270 plus sum of the 8 matches equals to 42 into 13. So 420 plus 42 into 3, 126. So 420 plus 120, 540, 540 plus 6, 546. The sum of the 8 matches will be equal to 546 minus 270. So it will be 276. Now what do we need? The average of, you understand, 42 into 13, 420 plus 42 into 3 is 126. 420 plus 126, 526. And 54 in 546. And 54 into 5. Half of 54 is 27 into 10, 270. So 276. Now what do we have to calculate here? The average score of the last 8 matches. How do we get the average? Average will be equal to sum by number of values. So 276 by 8. Simplify 276 by 8. How much do you get? 276 by 8. 30 times 240. Left out is 36. 4 times 32. Left out is 4. 4 is half of 8. So 30 times plus 4 times plus 0.5 times, 34.5. If you do not understand the calculation here, practice. There's, there's no other shortcut. So average is 34.5 for the last 8 matches, which is option 2. But let's understand a smarter way of getting the answer. Of course, this is also easy, not difficult. Maybe I have put more number of steps. You can directly get uh, this value in about 2 steps, right? You don't have to write all this all these things here. You can directly take 270 plus this equals to 546. Sum can be calculated and divide by 8 to get the average. But what's the other, other way of getting the answer here? See, understand. We know that for each of the matches, the value is 42. Our understanding, if you have gone through the banker's choice online video, you would know that for us, average is an equal distribution. When we say that average of 13 matches is 42, we can assume that first match it is 42, second match it is 42, third match the score is 42, fourth match the score is 42, fifth match the score is 42, up to 13 match the score is 42. Though in the real case, it may not be this. Right? It may be varying from match to match, but we are taking it as an equal distribution. So every match it should be 42. But what happened? Let me just clear this. But what happened here? Every match it should be 42. 42, 42, 42, 42, 13 times. But what happened in the first five matches? The average is how much is the average? In the first five matches, it's 54. So first match it was 54, 54, 54, 54, and fifth match also 54. And then 42 and so on. So we need to calculate for this area, the average for the remaining 8 matches. Now if you look at it, in the first 5 matches, it should actually be 42. But in this case, it is 54. So how much more? 42 and 54, 12 more. 12 more in first match, 12 runs more in second match, 12 runs more in third match, 12 in fourth match, 12 more in fifth match. So total, how much is the extra? 12 into 5, 60 extra. Are you able to follow? Total 60 is already extra in the first five matches itself. See, this is like balancing your monthly budget. If you have already spent, you know, something more on one of the areas, you have to reduce your expenditure on the other part. So something like that. So I have already spent 60 more here. So I should reduce my expenditure by 60 or reduce my 
total by 60 here, right? So actually it should be 42, but I'll decrease it by 60. This 60 should be distributed equally among the remaining eight matches. Are you able to follow? So this is plus 60 here, it will be minus 60. Minus 60 by 8. Why by 8? Because whatever is a loss, that loss should be shared by all the eight persons, right? These are eight persons, let us assume, eight matches. So this loss of 60 should be equally divided divided in each of the matches, there, each of the remaining eight matches. So 60 by 8 or minus 60 by 8. How much is minus 60 by 8? Uh, 7.5. Minus 7.5. So this should actually be 42, but everyone has lost 7.5 runs. Why? Because first five matches they have taken more. So 42 minus 7.5. So 35 and 34.5 is your answer. You don't have to write this for answering the question in this manner. I was just trying to explain you. But if you are if you are good at this concept, I'm sure you'll be able to uh, get the answer in just uh, five seconds, right? It's all about balancing it out. Of course, balancing the sum is the same as what you have done here. But this is much easier in my view when compared to the uh, traditional method.